If you own a home and the government tells you when you can or cannot sell it, who you can or cannot sell it to, do you really own it, right? That's the question. And in Baltimore, it looks like the government is doing another major overreach, forcing landlords to sell their homes to tenants. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. We got a blue area, and they're overreaching. What else is new, right? I mean, does that... Uh, does that strike any of you as a surprise? It shouldn't, right? At this point, uh, liberal cities, liberal governments, liberal city councils. Oh, Jesus. Which, by the way, I don't know if anybody's ever paid attention to, like, council members in, like, these impoverished liberal cities. Like, these aren't, like... You, these are not like trained professionals, dude. Like you get like just random ass people that get voted into these council positions and they all come up with these laws, whether or not they're constitutional is usually irrelevant. They try to just push stuff and then, you know, landlord groups are like, you know, reasonable human beings have to push back and like sue them and say things like, yo, pfft, unconstitutional. You can't do that. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and guess that's exactly what we're going to see happen here. Although, I don't know. Baltimore's in Maryland. Maryland is blue. Maryland is insane. Ah, oh, geez. I don't know. It's insane, right? It is insane. Normally, Baltimore, pretty decent Section 8 area. Uh, you can make some money there. But, dude, it just keeps getting woker and woker and woker. And this new uh, this new law, dude, this is... This is this this is just jumped the shark, okay? Mayor Scott signs Councilman Mary Pat Clark's Tenant Opportunity to Purchase Act, right? And if you want to read the whole article, I will link it below. It's coming from WJZ News, man. Um, this is insane, right? The whole synopsis uh, of what's happening here is if you are a landlord in Baltimore and you own a home, okay? Baltimore tells you when you could sell your house. Baltimore tells you who you can sell your house to. You might think, wait a second, this is America. I have the right to own a home. And if I own it, it is my decision when I sell it. It is my decision who I sell it to. Nah, nah! Not in woke America. In woke America, the government tells you who you can sell your house to, when you can sell your house, and you just fucking take it and eat it, right? That's what woke America wants, right? So check this. If you own a home in Baltimore, you're a landlord, and you want to sell it, you don't get to just put it on the market like everywhere else. You don't get to just sell your property. You don't get to just hire a realtor and try to sell your property that you own. No, 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 no. Apparently, uh, in Baltimore, your tenant has more rights than you because you know what they do in Baltimore? We have these radical politicians who just pander to the masses, pander to people who don't want to work, pander to the tenant base, and just give away your property owner rights, turn them into currency. They take your rights, exchange them, fucking convert them bitches into currency. You know how Jesus took water and he made that shit into wine? Well, liberals take private property ownership rights and they turn that shit into money and they buy votes with it because that's exactly what happened here, okay? So now... With this new new law, which is going to, again, I don't know. Maybe it won't because it's in Maryland, dude. I don't know. Uh, if this was in, like, a, a reasonable state, like, it would get overturned, right? Like, I do a lot of investing in Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland has, like, a radical, woke uh, city council and mayor. Um, but Cleveland is in Ohio, so these fucking maniacs will do something insane. And then Ohio's just like, <laughs> no, motherfucker. Like, the law, the Constitution, right? Shit like that happens. I don't know if it'll happen to Baltimore. It should, because this is just pure insanity, right? But so essentially, if you have a house, you want to sell it. You don't get to just hire a realtor like everybody else. No, 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 not in Baltimore. Uh, before you can even do that, you have to go up to your tenant and go, hey, Mr. and Miss Tenant, I want to sell my house. Uh, but, you know, apparently in woke America, 
you have more rights to my house than I do. So uh, am I allowed to sell it to my son? Am I allowed to sell it to my friend? Is that okay with you? And if your tenant says, no, as a matter of fact, it's not okay with me, Mr. Landlord. I know that you worked your whole life at the factory, and instead of spending your extra money on black and milds and beer, you saved up and you bought a rental property, and it is your life goal to leave that to your child when you pass on because you know that's just what you've done. Your whole life you worked to build this little nest egg, and you want to give that to your child, right? You want to sell it to them at an extreme discount so they can have it. That's your legacy. But that's not how it works in Baltimore. No, no, no. If I'm the tenant, I say, no, fuck that. I didn't save my money. I fucking spent it at the bar. So now I got all the rights. I got all the power, motherfucker. No, you can't do that. I'm going to buy it. And now that tenant has 14 days to decide whether or not they want to buy it. And if they do want to buy it, your kid, he's shit out of luck. It doesn't even matter. He ain't allowed to buy it. The tenant gets the opportunity to buy it, right? You don't have... The ability to tell that tenant no if they decide to do it. I don't even know how this uh, law would even be like enforced. Like that's just the thing. They come up with these crazy ass laws that are just like insane. But like sometimes the enforcement's totally nuts, right? I just gave the example of the the kid and the tenant, right? Like, but like who determines fair market value in that situation too, right? So like if I'm a landlord and I want to sell my property for a hundred k. Uh, because a, a real estate agent said that it's worth 100k. How do I really know it's actually worth 100k if I can't put it on the market to see what it's really worth? It's like you basically have to take a blind offer from the tenant, right? That's that's messed up, right? Um, it's nuts. What what is to prevent landlords from just like giving the tenant a crazy high price as well, right? Maybe it's not as bad if you think about it in practice, because like most things that the liberals do, you, they don't really apply to real world. What if like the house is probably worth 100k? Uh, but the owner really wants to test it on the market. So does he just tell the tenant, oh, hey, you could buy my property for a million dollars. And if the tenant doesn't agree to that, you know, after 14 days, he's allowed to then sell it. But then is he forced to sell it for that million dollars? Can he not sell it for fair market value? The whole thing makes no sense, dude. That's the thing. It's the problem with the government, right? Like they, the, the Wokies, they think of stupid shit in their head that sounds good in their crazy liberal head and they go, oh, I could I could feed this to the fucking population. They'll vote for me. But the shit don't make no sense in real life, man. This is either really bad for landlords or really irrelevant for landlords. It's too early for me to tell if this is horrible or just too fucking stupid to matter. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.